That is the best thing that I have ever seen in my entire life. Huge congratulations, Vamos Argentina, they are the world champions. But my mind is honestly blown. That is the most dazzling, eye-catching, memorable event that I have ever seen. I'm not talking about football matches. I honestly believe that that is the best spectacle that I have ever witnessed in my entire life. That is sensational. International tournament football is completely and utterly unrivaled. That was just magnificent. The heroic approach from those two teams. The courage on display from those two teams. There are 22 heroes today. Yes, of course there is only one winner. Of course there is only one winner. But a Goliath mammoth approach from France. I am, I'm exhausted. I am completely and utterly exhausted. It was an honour, a privilege to be alive now to have witnessed that final. Think of some of the finals that we've had the misfortune to watch. Think about what happened in the final of 1994, 1990. God, even the most recent one, you know, it was a competitive game, but it wasn't a dazzling final. That has made up for all of them. That is football. That was football. Football is truly unrivaled. It's unmatched. Nothing comes close. And that is the best thing that I have ever seen. Kylian Mbappe, what a man, by the way. Kylian Mbappe has scored... A World Cup final hat-trick and has not won the game. Jeff Hurst remains the only person to have scored a World Cup hat-trick and won, won the, ended up victorious. But Kylian Mbappe will rule the roost. Kylian Mbappe is the heir to the throne that will be soon vacated by Lionel Messi. I, I, I'm honestly speechless, which virtually has never happened to me in my entire life. When you think about how that game was going, on the 80th minute... The score was 2-0 and the game was effectively over. Otto Mendy then did something truly ridiculous, gave Kylian Mbappe an opportunity. Mbappe, obviously, carpeted the diem, took the chance, scored the penalty, also scored the second penalty, so it can be done, and also scored the third, actually, if you include the shootout, and then scored one of the most beautiful goals that you will ever see in a World Cup, and then the game went to extra time. Just think about all of the moments of this game. Lionel Messi... Scoring in a World Cup, scoring twice in a World Cup, finally winning that tournament. It is. It has happened for Lionel Messi. And I think people will overstate the significance here with regard to Lionel Messi. The GOAT debate, as it's so articulately put by people on the internet, I just don't really see it as a thing. I don't think we've learned anything about Lionel Messi today. In the last 120 minutes of pulsating wonderful football, Lionel Messi hasn't added to to his uh, to his emphasis on the GOAT debate. He hasn't changed anyone's perception. If you believe that Lionel Messi is the best football player now, but you didn't beforehand, you're completely insane. You are completely insane. If you believe that you were on the fence before, maybe you thought it was somebody else before, and now you think it's Messi, you're insane. Because nothing has happened in the last 24 hours to change anything. Lionel Messi was the best footballer if he didn't play today. And, and again, he showed us why that is the case. Do you know what else I loved? The histrionics from Martinez. Arsenal were mad to let him go. He's such a winner. He was at the epicentre of why, why it went Argentina's way. He really was truly brilliant. And he's actually, do you know what he's done, Martinez? He has reinvented the role of a goalkeeper in a penalty shootout. He's so physically and psychologically dominant that it's changed how you approach a penalty shootout. There used to be a time when you go into the penalty shootout and you go, you expect him to score this. He's going to score, he's got to score this. Now, you sort of start going, I wonder if he's going to save it. Rather than going, I expect him to score. You started to ask the question from the opposite perspective. And that is because of the brilliance of Emmy Martinez. Not only today, by the way, I'm talking about what happened against the Dutch. Not only today. So he is a huge reason as to why... They've won. I'm looking at footage here, by the way, of Lionel Messi. He's got his winner's medal at last. The weight of the world is visibly lifted off his shoulders. He's smiling. Oh, he's sparkling, man. Just like a young boy there. It's amazing, isn't it? He's, you know, the senior statesman, and yet he looks like a child just beaming with his medal. Just a happy lad. What a performance from him. What a career from him. What a final we have just witnessed. That is the best final I have ever seen. It's actually the best event I've ever seen. I don't mean sporting event. 
It's better than any... Fo if, you can, if you consider football to be entertainment, that is the best thing I've ever seen. Better than any film. Better than any Hollywood plot. It's unbelievable as a Hollywood plot. It was just exceptional. Truly exceptional. And Lionel Messi, the stats are up here, by the way. He has scored 26 goals in major international tournaments for Argentina. 13 World Cup. 13 Copa America. The most of any South American player in history across two competitions. Overtaking Ronaldo, who had 25. What an unbelievable game of football that was. It was everything that I want football to be. Football was the real winner. I know Argentina were the real winner. But football was the real winner. Because there were no losers on that pitch. There were no... Like, how has Kylian Mbappe come away on the losing side here? Scoring a hat-trick in a final like that. Truly mesmerising stuff. Every single group chat that I am in, whether it's the Shoreditch YouTube football game, whether it's the Friday football game that I play in the morning, whether it's my group of mates from when I was young, every single group was popping off. Football, there is nothing like it. We are so lucky that we dedicate our lives to football. We're so lucky that football is our raison d'etre because it is completely unrivaled, unmatched, and is just the best. Football is truly the best. And Argentina now have moved to that third trophy that they so desperately needed. They needed that third trophy. It's, they've, been, they've been desperate for it for such a long time. Not since 1986 have they won this trophy. Lots of defeats in finals, but they have finally got that monkey off their back. And they now are three-time champions. That's more than Uruguay. That's more than France. And it's just behind the behemoths of Italy, Germany and, of course, Brazil. The only ever present in this tournament. The Golden Boot, the final standings are in. Kylian Mbappe wins the World Cup Golden Boot with eight. Lionel Messi, seven. Julian Alvarez with four. And Olivier Giroud, also with four. Eight goals for Kylian Mbappe. That is the biggest haul since Ronaldo also scored eight in 2002. You have to go back 52 years for a better personal goal-scoring performance at a World Cup. Gerd Müller scoring 10 at Mexico 1970. Poor Mbappe. Can you believe that he's lost the game? I'm looking at him here. Head dropped, heartbroken. He's with uh, that Macron, the French. Um, I don't know why Macron's on the pitch, but he is. Um, giving him a sort of avuncular hug. Very odd. Oh, dear. He's picking him up, gathering him back to full height. I think Kylian Mbappe will look back on this tournament with pride, given time, of course. Oh, dear. I'm, my mind is blown. That was honestly one of the best things that has ever happened to me in my entire life. And look, the lights on the trophy, on the stadium here, are, dip, are dimming low. The trophy presentation is upon us. Oh, let's just again, you know, take this moment, the camera's on Lionel Messi here, to just appreciate and acknowledge Lionel Messi. Messi has become the first player to score at every stage of a modern finals. The group, the round of 16, the quarters of the semi and the final. Not quite up there with Jarzinho, who scored in every single match of Brazil's successful 1970 run. Though he didn't have a round of 16 to play. But six out of seven ain't bad. Gosh, truly unbelievable. The only game that Lionel Messi didn't score in was actually that game against Poland. When Chesney saved the penalty. What a ride this World Cup has been. It has been magnificent, mind-blowing. And football is spectacular. It's just amazing. I'm so happy right now. Thank you to everybody. I love you all. Honestly, I'm feeling very emotional off that. Thank you to everybody. I went to this World Cup and it's because you've been kind enough to click subscribe on this channel. So from the bottom of my heart, genuinely so, so grateful. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please click subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll go for a lie down. Amazing.